Hello, this is Chaos Pool, and welcome back to more Golden Sun, The Lost Age. So, I did a little bit of exploring, and a little bit of looking up between episodes, and I've come to two conclusions. First of all, this is the wrong beach. Second of all, that we can totally do this. Which, you know, this would have been nice to have realized, you know, sometime around when I got the boat. It would have probably saved me a little bit of trouble. Um, anyway. This is where we came in. This is where we are. Um, I'm still not 100% sure where I actually want to go. But I know that this is reportedly the way to reach it. I feel... Having said that, this I cannot help but feel that this is wrong. Um, also, no encounters on the river. That is nice. And why, oh why, did I not know I could do this sooner? Uh, okay, well, uh, ooh. Oh no, this is actually where I wanted. Great. Because now we can go in here, through here, and... Into the Attica Inlet. And just like that, we have a. R what is that? We made these wings and carried them here just to fulfill a great prophecy! Ooh. We must be prepared to attach these wings to the sacred vessel. It is said that we will know the time when Mount Jupiter is in flames. Mount Jupiter? I wonder if these giant wings will really make it fly. I'd like to see that. How... how do I... How? How do? Can, can I reach it now? Or am I going to need to do it later? Well, there's an easy way to find out. Um... I mean, I wasn't really expecting anything from that. Uh, I guess I can go in here as well. Hmm. Nope, definitely cannot reach that right now. Well, that's annoying. We'll just have to come back for it later. I mean, we will literally have to come back for it later, because our ship is here. And we're going to need to come back for our ship. Still, though, what is up with those wings? Ooh, there's like a small town here. Ish. I mean, there's a house. Reveal! Reveal? Nope. Empty. Ooh, maybe I can get up there from this place. That would be nice. I want to see what's in the box. Well, nothing there. How about here? Nope. How about here? Probably not, but we're gonna do it anyway. Okie dokie. So, oh, wow, that's actually really easy to reach. It's a vial. Okay, well, it's not a big deal anyway, then. Nothing over here. So, what is up here, then? Because it looks like the way out of this area is to the left. Hmm. Oh, they just both do that. Presumably. Okay, if that's the way out, then where does this go? Okay, j we're on the same page. That's good to know. And, indeed, now that I'm here, I can go straight up the road to the place I want. Place is, maybe, actually. I'm not... I'm not 100% sure whether there's one or two. Because I know there's things associated with this, and some of them were definitely at that inlet. But I don't know if the rest of them will be there later on, or... No, there's totally a town here. And a huge-ass crater. What? What's up with that? Okay, does she like just not have a proper weep on or something? Because she is hitting way soft, not nearly as hard as she should be. I feel. I mean, she just did 50 damage. Jenna just did 200 damage. I mean, she had an unleash, but still. 
Well, she did 150 that time. I don't know, it's weird. You do have a proper weep on, right? Oh, wow, I'm throwing that out. Um, uh, no, don't re don't remove it. Don't give it away either. No, you have the goblin rod. Hmm, weird. Well, whatever. Huntigo. This music sounds familiar. I've definitely been somewhere that had this music before, but I'm not sure where. I kind of want to say... Really? Well, there's got to be something here. Absolutely nothing. Wow. Just wow. Uh, the legend of the people who... No, I do not. There was the Animos tribe. They had the power to fly through the air! Some people of Contigo inherited some of their power, and now we rule over Attica. No, whatever. Uh, reveal! Reveal! No. Oh? That's interesting. Reveal! No. Damn it. One of these days. Anything new? Yes, there is. We'll take this. And also this. But not the tier. You keep that shit away from me. A game t Well, I guess so. I guess the game ticket is alright. The beacon within Jupiter Lighthouse will soon be lit. I know this because I had a strange pre a premonition. Ooh. Cyclone. Reveal. What is this? Wait, what is this? <gasps> we can use our tickets. Okay. We're probably going to spend the rest of the episode on this. Um. So. Here's how it works. Yes. Yes, I would. It's basically the same as told me. I'm going to do three at a time, probably. Um. I want three shirts. Or no, I want four shirts for everyone. I want at least three boots for everyone. And I want four rings for everyone. I've also... There's also apparently... Because I, I recently read about this, actually. Um, let's see. I don't want any consumable, so I don't want... I want boots. I want basically anything but a heart, really. Oh, right. I can lock it. I forgot about that. I completely forgot about that mechanic. Okay, uh, let's do it like this. That's a new. I could switch to ring. But... Let's try to get a shirt. Mm. Oh! Okay, I guess the moons mean R for anything. That's good to know. Ooh, that's a good one. Basically, here are the rules for this. It works the same as Tolpy, but there's a few additional requirements that I know about now, which may or may not have applied in the first Golden Sun. First of all, there's two or three items, probably the, pretty much the best in each category, that you cannot get on your first playthrough. So, or rather, the first playthrough after resetting the game. Which is probably to disable saves coming to get those items. Because they are really good. Second of all, rings, boots, Stars and hearts get you items. Whatever. Um, second of all, you can never get the same item twice in a row. So we just got running the running shirt. It's now impossible to get a running shirt on our next playthrough, or possibly our next payout. E either way. Um, sure, I'll give this to you. Cause why not? It's actually probably the best one. The best shirt, that is. Save the game. Having said that, I don't really want to waste my tickets until I have enough stuff to fill up every my everyone. 
So, yeah, uh, okay, well, what was Star's game? Are Star's any good? I, I guess we'll just find out. Give me the star payout! No, just play. We're bound to get a star or moon at least once. We totally didn't. Wow. Uh, yeah. I didn't go, like, twice. Probably. I mean, I have a lot of lucky tickets. And, in fairness, it is, you can get pretty much infinite tickets. Um, having said that... No, not that. Let's do that. Okay, so... I have three stars here, but I can also change to the shirt, like so, which might be better. No, no, that that's not right. Uh, like that. Actually, this way I'm playing for both, functionally. Uh, okay, I, well, I have four in a row here, so... Let's go for that. Really? Okay, well that's two losses in a row. So... BRB. And on this note... Because I don't really want to have to talk through this whole experience, and it might take a while, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna record it all, but I am not... I'm gonna speed it all up and play some music while I'm doing this. That way it should take a more reasonable amount of time for your viewing. And then at the end, we can go over it and explore the town a little bit more, instead of spending literally the whole episode doing nothing but this. Sound good? I think it does. So, let's get on with it.
and we're done. We just used up all of our lucky tickets, every single one. Which means we now need to sell a bunch of crappy rings. Like, I think I'm probably going to get rid of some of this crap too, because actually I could conceivably use that one. Not, never going to use a sleep ring though. Uh, still never going to use a sleep ring times two. Uh, that's actually conceivable. Don't need boots. Don't need those boots anyway. Uh, nope, never going to use you. Better than, a lot better than the sleep ring though. That's at least useful. Uh, as long as I'm in here, actually, let's sell this stuff too. 119. Eh, not even worth anything. And sell this. Um, oh yeah, what's you? Oh no, you actually have a good ring. I'm a little disappointed I couldn't get good rings out of that, but otherwise I'm good. Here's what we ended, ended up with. We have on Shiba a silk shirt and quick boots. We have on Felix a running shirt and hyper boots. We have on Jenna uh, quick boots and another silk shirt. Only the girls can wear silk shirts. And we have on Piers a mithril shirt and he still has the safety boots because they actually have, they're actually as far as I know, the best defensive boots there are. And I didn't get a third pair of boots. Like, if I got hyper boots, I would actually probably give him hyper boots. But I didn't, so I'm not. Having said that, um... Ooh. Cool. There's also... Uh, there's also Lucky Coin, or whatever the hell it's called. Lucky Dice, I guess and super lucky dice, which is what these are, but I'm not going to do those because they're basically a huge waste of time. Ooh, power bread. Now that is something that is not a huge waste of time. Yeah, let's use that on Felix. Maybe I should have used it on Sheba, actually, but I used it on Felix. Ooh. Soon, the sibling with the power of Animos will return and fulfill the legend. <laughs> Ooh, it used Synergy! Cool. I wanna... I wanna mind read the baby. It's hot! I want cool wind! Ha 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 that's adorbs. Okie dokie. Uh, what's in here? Oh, the sanctuary. Uh, I haven't actually checked the Weepon shop, so I should do that. I don't care about your Weepons unless you have a new artifact, which, uh... This looks new, but it's not better. It is not superior. It is, in fact, inferior. Ooh, that one is also inferior. Um... Ooky... No, no, I had that one. I had that one as well, I think. Yep. Definitely had that one. What about the armor guy? Anything new you have? Is that? No. That's, that's definitely not new. How about this one? Nope. The turtle boots. Nope. It's actually strictly worse. Mmm. How about? No. Let's just look at your regular armor. How is this? Not actually very good at all. Okay! Wait! Reveal. Okay then, we don't need to reveal the other half. There's nothing over there. Just look at it! I was already in here. Don't need to go in those, don't need to go over there, I think. I guess the people of Contigo lost the power they inherited from the Animos tribe. At least to some degree. I mean, it's, I would say it's declined more than lost. But the real thing to know, how much does it cost to stay at the end? 80 coins is the same as Shaman Village, actually, so that seems reasonable. But, do you have anything... no. Okay, then. I think that's... is that everything, actually? Like, is it? 
I feel like there should be more here. I'm sure I've been in here already. Yeah, I feel like there should be more here. So, what am I missing? <laughs> Maybe there is something over there. I should go and look. I should go and look. So I will. Okay, it's kind of weird that it scrolls down there, but not up here. Ooh, there's definitely something here, though. Whether there's something I can do is another matter, but there's definitely something here. Ooh, that... That looks familiar. Hmm. The wings will be finished shortly. Where is the ship that they're going to be attached to? Nope. Wait. This looks like it's telling someone to use reveal, actually. Hmm. I mean, it's not a reveal mark. It looks more like... It's like what I would draw of someone using reveal on a reveal marker. That's probably close to how I would symbolize it. Hmm. Interesting. The characters from the wall are translated here. Some of them are gates, and some of them are roads. Search th with your heart to find the truest path. Interesting. Inside of the sanctum, but it can't open it? Hmm. That's interesting. Some of them are gates and some- well, the obvious answer is to use Reveal. There we go. Animos Inner Sanctum. You know, this looks seems like a good place to stop off, so join me next time when we explore the Sanctum. Until then, have a great day. Bye!